I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Renser, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humility. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Yeah, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. Last time I had a three was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of tomaine poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for Rep Detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slumming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What screws I got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runsitters. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds.
Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe. Human and rep. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. My precious one. She was my baby. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of Jinyan's worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point, that. I believe... This is the disc from last night. Peachy. My precious one. She was my baby. My precious one, she was my baby. 
I already checked for a crowbar or some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. My precious one. She was my baby. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron cult. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old, with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. Howie Lee's, in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. A candy bar. Yuck. Well, isn't that cute? Hmm. A toy dog. Precious one. She was my baby. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Howie Lee's, in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. She 
came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone, and he's a very reputable wholesaler. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not! It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. Your floor number, please. Apartments. Apartments. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Your floor number, please. Apartments. Ground floor. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you.
scanning video disk. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Run sitter crime scene. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Local license plate? Give me a hard copy of that. Run sitter crime scene. Thank you. 
Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Messages. I'm in demand. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month.
portrait of the sleep deprived. Floor number, please. Roof. Ground floor. Roof. Mainframe and shooting range. Roof. Laboratory. Mainframe and shooting range. Ground floor. Mainframe and shooting range. Ground floor. Lockup. Laboratory. Mainframe and shooting range. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago. But the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Lucky strikes. Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy! Bryant finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece. Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. <laughs> I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. 
<laughs> I'll tell you, it looked like the goddamn Fourth of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. Hit the lock, Jack. I guess there ain't no harm in it. Target and shoot all threats. Do not shoot innocents. Confirm target as hostile before shooting. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station.
Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. Completed all sequences. Proceed to exit.
Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Runsitter crime scene. He looks familiar. Laboratory. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Ground floor. Hey, pal. It's high time someone got them illegals off the street. Bryant go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs and I'll read it later. You got it. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. Well, get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. 
Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Lockup. Laboratory. Mainframe and shooting range. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. November 22nd, 2019. I once again ask that my attorney- Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh no. Recording off. Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that, that friend of his. A slim blonde man, Asian, with, with a ponytail. Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. The angle of impact was almost head on, and there ain't too many spinner drivers klutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. Ground floor. Lock up.
Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I don't know them. Were they together? They seemed to be. I saw them talking. Before or after the explosion? Before. I didn't see them at all after. That's all I know, I swear. I wouldn't even know where to find explosives. I, I'm not a violent man. Of course you aren't. You just want to let replicants walk the streets. They're not killers, Detective. They're innocents. They just want to live a decent, productive life like you or me. It's that simple, huh? I got some more questions for you. Lot of people involved in your cause? Spencer? Yes, sir. We're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the Citizens Against Replicant Slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, Detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped... A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Locker. Roof.